morning. Well, it's all very ship shape and Bristol fashion in here. Mm. Mixers. Done. Any sign of our standing chef? He's usually here by now. Oh, come back, Marlon, all is forgiven. <laughs> right, the brewery's paid, optics top top. Do you think I should go and check on her? Who? Who do you think, Angelica? Did you see a little face when I left her again this morning? Now, come on. You know what we said? If we're going to do this, we're going to do it properly. <sighs> You're right, my dad can cope. Of course he can. Look at the job he did on you. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. Hello, Woolpack. And with five minutes to spare. <laughs> OK, thanks for letting us know. The Woolpack is open for business. Er, uh, not without a chef. Thing under control. Jimmy, you're letting him cook. Oh, I don't want his fat fingers in my dinner. It's a pub lunch, not a cod and blue experience. Nico, I need you. Yeah, and I need two chilli and rice. Well, well, speed things up a bit time this morning. I'm still waiting on a chicken korma. It's on its way. Two chilli and rice. Just give us five minutes. Well, you've been saying that for the last half hour. Nicola! Not now, Dad. You'll have to help me come and get it sorted. Well, like I sort everything else. She said, Mummy. What? <laughs> Clear as day. Right. Well, that's it. I've quit. <sighs> all upset over nothing. Nothing? It's not nothing. My little angel said a first word and I wasn't there to see it. I was too busy pulling pints and trying to keep a lid on Hell's Kitchen. You shall say other words. The hope. It won't be the same. I miss the first, like I'm missing out on everything at the moment. Right. You stay here with Angel and let Jimmy hold the fort out there. But he's covering the kitchen. Well, why don't I take over in there? You can't do that. Well, I'm just as good a job as your husband. Now, I've heard of Chief Cook and Bottle Washer, but I can't run a bar as well. We're on our way. He's been to me down with Mummy. 